Okay. Okay. During our, our hike today, I got to just point this out. We gained 1,400 feet. We did just under four miles. Um, Iller Creek, thing you've been doing since you were a high schooler. Spokane Valley, and then you can get on the other side of the mountain. You can see Spokane downtown. It's really cool. Yeah. Eight or ten miles away. And the and the, and the Palouse. Did you yeah. bring any? Did you bring any fluids with you? No. I'm drinking them now. <laughs> did your kids? Did your kids have any fluids? Uh, I didn't notice. I think you brought some. <laughs> yeah. I bailed you guys out. Yeah. You even got a little sip of what I brought. Yeah, I, took I stole sip. it from I, you. Though. Yeah, I didn't need it. Yeah, I stole it from you. Yeah. It, it was yours. Right, right. I, it was just in my back. Yeah. And then the bat. I got cr heavily criticized on the bat, by the way. Oh, with, by your wife. My wife was yeah, giving I, you flack. I didn't like about that. that. I didn't like that. Yeah. Well, I thought the bat was very fruitful. Yeah. Well, you want you were afraid of a, if a cougar came upon you or something. You, I, could you use hit it in the, the snout. You right. hit it in the snout. Yeah. What's a cougar weigh? 90, 100? Uh, well, hey, I mean, you can get... 50, you could be, yeah, that'd 200. That'd be big. That'd be big. Yeah, 130 yeah. is not yeah. crazy at all. Yeah. I'm sure if you club that with a bat, it'd probably leave you alone. Yeah, or get more mad. It, that's the thing, too. But but what are you what are you going to do? Not, not... No, yeah, you got to fight. Yeah, you got to fight. fight. I don't get... I don't, listen, I'm not, like, in that paranoid range. No, you didn't have bells, and you no. didn't have bells I'm, and the whistles. Tommy and... had a bowl in Allegheny. <laughs> yeah. In PA... Tommy yeah. had a bow. You can hear Tommy coming. Yeah. Tommy stood up. Yeah. yeah. He's a dainty morsel. That would be a, like a good snack, my Tommy. Well, Allegheny has some. They I got mean, they got black bears and, and yeah, mountain lions. They got it. it yeah. Dude, it's wild out there. And some, man, in the history of wrestling, too. Oh, oh yeah. Like some, oh, yeah. Some real badasses we just, around there. That... We were just north of uh, Clarion. Yeah. And just east of Edinburgh. Yeah. Gannon. Gannon's over there, yeah. just south of Buffalo. We're in a tough spot. We were yeah. in a tough area for yeah. had some guys. They've had some guys. There's been some guys from there. There's been some guys. Um, okay. Ray. Ray No, PA Ray's he's from over uh where's PA Ray from? Ray Brinzer. Oh, Ray Brin yeah, North Alabama. Teague. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh okay. Catch a bone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? <laughs> you can just keep going. Yeah. Angle, come yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kirk. Where's Wade from? Chalice. Wade could PA? Not, I think Wade's PA. I could not tell you. I'm one of the all-time greats, though. Wade Chalice. Yeah. Come on. Pretty good. I mean, I've seen his Twitter, but I, I don't know where he's from. I think he it's... Could Russell. Wade Chalice could Russell. Yeah. Okay. The question I had for you was, you live in this big, beautiful house, really nice part of town. What about the kids who don't live in the big, beautiful place? You got four kids who's got a great home to come home to every night. Your kids are going to get the emotional support. They're going to get the hike up the hill with you. You are throwing me some, man. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I'm, this is good. I'm, look at all the physical activity we're able to do. No, I know. We, yeah, we've hiked your kid who's got miles. a car. Your kid who's old enough to have a car has a car. Yeah. What do what, what the kids do who don't have the same excellent life and parental support that the Roberts kids Roberts kids get that you give to your kids? What do can wrestling help those kids out? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's where you're going with it. Yeah. What did you think I was going with? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know, man. How, how great I, is the sport for kids like that? How hey. great are the Beat the Streets? How great are those organizations for kids who don't have... Your kids are... Your kids are... They're really in a great spot. Yeah, hey, and I'll you're tell you You're all what. four of them. Yeah. I mean, they get to do wrestling. You know, they get to go to the camps that they want to go to. Um, you know... Both, they're all in a good club for the, for their sport. Your daughter's in a great gymnastic club yeah, we went to. So She's we, at camp all day. So we got you know a gymnast and we got some wrestlers and, um, but you know I've I mean we've seen it all right I've seen it you've seen it I've seen it as a coach for you know twenty one twenty one years twenty twenty two years seen it I've seen it at the college level i mean we've coached guys i've seen it at the high school level we've seen those guys that came from tough situations tough environments less than ideal but at the same time man you could see they came out and you know they had some pretty strong character but you know there were guys that were on straddling the fence it could have went this way or could have went that way and wrestling you know um it did a lot for them and that's what's really reward rewarding. And when you when I say I'm, I was fortunate, you know, to coach guys like that, I mean it really it really was because you know sometimes it's eye opening and stuff when you're when you're you know you don't 
you don't come from a situation like that. So you realize really what, um, you know, the background some people do. And it's really rewarding to see them, um, you know, excel and get the college degree and become the first person in their college, in their family to graduate from college, to enroll in college maybe. You know, and wrestling. I think wrestling always has, you know, I'll say this. Wrestling is probably not for everybody. I mean, but I think there's something in wrestling for everybody. So you know what I'm saying. I think there's some people that it's probably like, yeah, that kid's ne never going to decide to wrestle. It's not for them, maybe. It's a tough sport. It's, But I think if you do go out for wrestling, and, and I think there is something in it for everyone. And I'm talking about the kid that's trying to, you know, last six minutes without getting pinned. I've, I've had a couple high school guys like that that, you know, they finally, their 15th match of the year or something, they made it without getting pinned. To the guy that's trying to win his third state title, that's trying to go to college and, and everything in between. There is something in wrestling for all those people. When you have a kid just for a camp, right? Like I've seen what Jeff Jordan's able to do and what the Burnettes are able to do with their camp system. What, what's your vision for camps and bringing kids into camps when we get through this this, this epidemic, pandemic, whatever you want? I mean, right? We're in, the, we're in the middle of a worldwide epidemic of COVID-19. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do your camps do that, are, that either emulate or different from what Burnett, Jordan, J-Rob, whatever the, all those camps are doing, Perler, all these guys who run camps, you know, Legends of Gold, whatever we could, the list is endless, right? Yeah. All the universities have systems as well. What are your camps going to do different to help kids gain that perspective and gain that life? Well, I think one thing when you come to my camp, and, and I've been to some camps as a kid, and I've worked some camps, and when you come to my camps is you are going to have a good time. I mean, I'm not just sitting here. I don't have to tell you this. You've been around me enough. You are going to have a good time. You're going to work. Uh, you're going to learn. Um, you know, the, and you know the way I teach. It's just it's it's pretty systematic, right? Like we're not going to go in there and, and do this and do this, and there's no rhyme or reason the way. And I mean, they're very they they fit together. It's a system. The systematic, hands on the guy. Move the man, create yeah. angles. This isn't rocket science. No, and we we do things and and you know that 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 work in arcs like that work together. So I watched. Okay, so for example, Burnett trained. Everything Burnett trained is predicated off of a inside, inside tricep, tie. Inside tricep tie. Inside tie. Everything at a Jordan camp is predicated off a collar tie. Right. Not everything. Right. Right. But the basis and the foundations of their system right. are what I just said. Yeah. What would you say your guys' foundation is? Uh, you know, I would say. Uh, I would say for me, it'd be an inside tie. I would say for me, it'd be an inside tie or, uh, you know, wrist control, the cross wrist. Yeah, you, you actually did that on the mat tonight. The cross wrist. Pull you on, know, moving inside it. tie. But, again, you know, I think you have to, at times, you know, you, 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 you do show some other stuff. I mean, you do show some other stuff, and you got different kids in there, and you got – and, I you know, I think a good coach – um, will, you know, kind of study the guys too and see what they're doing and then try to enhance what they are doing. You're going to definitely teach your fundamentals. You're going to definitely teach a system and the stuff that, you know, you believe in. But, you know, when you go to camp with me, you also get some open time, you know, some open drill time and where I want to watch them work. And then I'm going to go and work on those things with them. So, yes, you're going to do A, B, C, and D that I'm teaching. But then on those times when I say, like, okay, open drill now, you know, work on your holds. And I want to see you work on them. And I'm, then I go over and then, you know, because then you get to, they all have things they do different or well that you just want to enhance and tighten up and make better or teach them something that goes off that or piggybacks on that. So, you know, I'm a big believer in that. You know, the, 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 you, gotta, you have to coach to the kids' strengths and at the same time you got to tighten things up. But uh, you're going to work hard when you come to Robert's camp. You're going to work hard. I mean, you're not going to, you know, do bear crawls on concrete or hot lava or nothing like that. 
but you're going to work hard and you're drilling and you're learning technique and a lot of reps, a lot of reps. You're going to do some hard wrestling and you're going to get tired. You're going to breathe hard. You're going to sweat, but you're going to have fun too. Like just joking around, you know, having fun, um, making kids laugh. You know, you got to <laughs> making them laugh at me half the time. You know, they, they want to have fun, man. They're, they're there to have fun. They're there to learn, but they're going to have a good experience.